So here we are, as you can see, things have moved on. What we've done is we've laid our three mil cork because we decided on where we actually wanted the track to go. And we trimmed the track using these professional wire cutters and then made sure that there were no burrs on the track at all by reprofiling with the needle file. But you can't just fit this, this track to this track because now you need to remove the chairs from both sets of sleepers before the tracks will go together using the SL10 rail joiners. So, with a scalpel and great care and cutting away from you, what we do is we cut away those chairs. Okay, that's those two, and then just swing around for the other side. This is a job you don't want to hurry, because the last thing you want to do is injure yourself. So, now using the SL10 rail joiner, it should feed on neatly onto the edge of the rail. And there we are. And then, offering it up to the existing rail, They fit snugly together. You might need a pair of pliers just to pull the track in. So with the rails joined together, all you then need to do is to run the track setter straight, straight through to make sure the tracks are nice and straight. And then all you need to do is to pin the track down and make sure it's secure before you start to go into the curve. So now we need to secure this piece of track to the track bed. And we secure it about every 150 millimetres, but we use a pin vise and we drill through the sleepers on the outside rather than on the centre. If you drill through on the centre and pin it, you can tend to bend the sleeper in and when you look along the track it looks pretty much awful. So, every 150 millimetres with a pin vise, all I do is drill a hole straight through the sleeper, into the board, and then without moving it, use one of the Pico track pins, pop it through the hole, and then all I use is a pair of snips and then push it into place. As easy as that. So I do the one on the other side, You can feel it go straight through the cork into the, uh, the plywood. Take the next pin, pop it in, and then just push it into place. There. And then another 150 million pieces further on, we do the same again. And then just to double check, just run the track set back through the track and you can see it's quite smooth. So now we need to decide where the curve will start. And I think it needs to start around about here. So we take the track setter up to the edge, and what I'm gonna do now is drill into this sleeper here, and then that will secure the straight before we go into the curve. There, one last check. Great. So now we need to move on to the curve, and with the track setter 24 inch template, we fit it into the rail and move it from the straight into the curve, and we can see how the curve will sit. And then holding it in position here, we now need to secure that piece of rail. So, with the pin vise, we count back a few sleepers because obviously we're going to trim the ends off so that they're flush and then we drill in once more. 
You obviously must take care that you don't move the rail at this stage. Pop a pin in, force it in, and we're good to go. And then when we take the track setter template out, it stays still. Obviously when you, do, when you put this curve in, the inside rail has a shorter distance to run than the outside rail, hence you see that the inside rail then appears longer coming out of the, the sleepers. And now what we have to do is trim these back, um, obviously reprofile the ends so there's no burrs or whatever, and then we go into the next track and so the curve swings on.